So, uh, one word that you are going to hear a lot is called feature. I'm going to say a lot of ah, feature, feature, feature. What's the feature in the context of artificial network? A feature is one of the is is how your data is is one of the your is is just one of your 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 factor to explain. But in this case, here you have the crime rate, in the case of to predict the price of a house versus the the median value of the, of owner occupied uh, occupied home units of so uh, you're trying to say that uh, you're trying to predict the price of a house in function of the crime rate i mean of course if you have a, a very high as you see here have a very high crime rate the price of the house is going to drop i mean th that one is very easy to see but that's not always the case so you may see that the model should uh, you, that, that's the case you can even build uh, a model on your own as you can see the uh, the uh, the price of the house is going to fall exponentially as the crime rate increases, which is not a surprise. I mean, uh, we somehow, some that the model can be used even to model what you already know, but the model will be automated way to do that. So it's not always, machine learning is not always about being better than humans. Sometimes machine learning is just about automation, which automation means that you can be as good as human, or at least if you are, if you are not as good as, you are at least good enough to, to replace human in a very fast way to make classifications. This one here, I can't see anything here. For me, it's a, yeah, in this specific case here, it is like uh, the number of teacher that you have uh, ratio in the region. So purple teacher, so uh, people teacher, which is the number of teacher around the, the neighborhood for, uh, for, uh, for a student. Uh, that as well is going, but that's basically I can't see anything here. But the model is able to see. That's the trick. The model, when they take all the variables together, they are able to not to see just the the relationship between one, uh, one feature in the output. They are able to, be able to see uh, how they are correlated. That's the trick. Sometimes the people say that you should use features that are not correlated. That's one of the reasons. Sometimes some some data scientists they like to to make the correlation between. The, the features because if if it's two features are very strongly correlated, it means that the, first of all you are not you, you are losing information because the correlation means that they already have information that they just want to be able to, to give. So sometimes it's very nice that you have independent uh, features, but that's not always possible because most of the time uh, it's very hard for you to analyze this correlation. Uh, linear most of the time you have to use uh, PCA principal component analysis, which is measure a kind of linear relation. In the case of no linear it can be hard. So sometimes a data scientist is going to just to make the training process because let's train stuff, let's see how it comes out. I always advise you to to to, to learn the data before you train. Of course you can just put in a in a machine learning model, that's all. But I always think that you should learn mathematically and you should learn as well for in, in, in the case of diabetes that I have we, uh, you, we do have a course here on Udemy on my on my profile about how to detect diabetes tensor flow js in that specific case I, I have some kind of knowledge of diabetes because my PhD was about somehow about diabetes I was working around diabetes so I know somehow what are the factors can create diabetes so I have selected in the, in, in, the, in the case of the the mod that was online they use all the features I have used just four and I got the same result that they got before feature I have got the result that they have they got it nine because most most likely some of the fish they are using for detect diabetes they are useless maybe some of the feed that even correlated with the others which means the information that you are you are taking from nine variable they are like you are going to cycle you are not so it's always nice that you either take variable that you know they are very important or you measure it somehow maybe even even if you use linear, linear uh, correlation correlation is linear by definition but even if you use correlation which is linear by definition you are going to to have information so i my 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 my, my tip is always know somehow your features either by mathematically or, e or by knowledge, by studying the concept, study what's going on. Sometimes you don't have any field, you don't have any information, so, but at least try to understand somehow plotting the graph, make a linear regression, so on, does matter. But try to understand your feature, how it, it's connected between each other and how it's connected to the output. So guys, thank you a lot. That part, I just wanted to let you know that 
even though the one that you are going to do in Scots is a linear regression, most of the time, in most of the application, artificial network, in this case, TensorFlow.js, they, they, they will be best applied for no linear regression, which you don't have. In the case of linear regression, you do have an option. You can use either classical theory or you can use machine learning. But in most of the application, most of the case, you don't have a choice. So you have to use machine learning. So yeah, I just wanted to know that he, even though you, I have used a very simple model on this course for teaching, uh, I think you should always go for the complex one. This course I decided to keep it simple because I wanted to learn. But he always keep keep in mind that most of, most likely if you are if you want to use this model, you should use it on a no linear and the several variable very complex context which no mathematical model can solve. That's the nice part that of machine learning.